Hello, it's Reverend Miller. I'm sitting in the parlor here in our education building of Old Paramus Reformed Church. It is Monday, Thursday. We won't be having a video service or an in-person service for Monday, Thursday this year. We will have a Good Friday service on video tomorrow and, a good, and an Easter service on video on Sunday. And so I encourage you to look for those on YouTube or on Facebook and to follow along and to worship at home. While we're not going to be able to gather together today for Monday, Thursday, I encourage everyone at home tonight around the dinner table to read John 13 verses 1 through 17 and then also verses 31 through 35 would be our lectionary passage. You can, of course, read the whole chapter, John 13. It's a, a beautiful chapter. Monday actually is a Latin word meaning command. So on Monday, Thursday, we reflect on Jesus' command to love one another. And we get that really at the end of our verses. And I would like to read that for you. A new command I give to you that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. What a beautiful command. So tonight, as you gather around the dinner table, it might be one person, it might be two people, it could be even more if you have a larger family living at home. And read this passage, and I, first I want you to reflect on Jesus' love that he shows to his disciples by the washing of his feet. This is part of the story we're hearing tonight. And sitting around a dinner table, really, and having the Passover feast and preparing. And reflect on how much Jesus loved his disciples. And I want you also to reflect on how much, much Jesus loves you. That's part of the command, that Jesus has great love for each one of us. And so I want us to reflect on that love. Feel that love and that warmth and that care that Jesus wants to give to each one of us. And as you reflect on that great love and the service that Jesus shows to the whole world, I want you then to reflect on this command that not only do we get to live in Jesus' love, we are to share that love with one another. And I want you to reflect on how, what ways can you show love to your family, to your neighbors, to this whole world? And I know in this pandemic when anxiety and, and fear is running high, it's hard to show love to one another. And I also know we have restrictions. We can't hug our neighbors or become too close to anyone physically except for those living in our houses. But we still can show love. And at this time, Christ's love is needed even more. So we reflect on Christ's love for each one of us and then reflect on how we can show that love to the world. And so my hope and prayer for you is that you'll feel God's love surround you, that you'll feel God's love lift you up, that you'll feel God's love care for you, and then you can show that love to the world. Amen.